Hello everyone, this is Mar Haddad here. Today I'm going to show you a very nice uh, lab to show you how you can enable the MD5 challenge on the Microsoft Windows. So what is the MD5 challenge? Actually, if we go to the uh, computer here on the Microsoft Windows, normally on the uh, wired, uh, if we go to any of the network interface cards, so let's go over here. So this is a wired uh, interface card. So once you enable dot one X, you will see it's enabled over here. So then you will see that you have different protocols. One of the protocols that is not listed there anymore is the MD5 challenge, because Microsoft uh, see that this uh, protocol has lack of security. So uh, if you want, I can just show you here very fast. What you can do, you can just go to here and type uh, services and you enable the dot one X service so if we go down over here to the, let's have a look. Over here, we see the wired auto config. So this one, I'll just start it. So this will enable for me the dot one X. You can see IEEE.802.1X. dot eight two dot one X. So this protocol is for authentic to authenticate any machine trying to connect to our network. If it has the right username and password, then it can enter to our network. So if we go back to here now, and I go to this network interface card, you can see that this authentication has shown up over here. And if you say, I want to enable a to do dot one X authentication, then you can see that there are a different type of protocols to be authenticating you, uh, EAP SIM, TTLS, ACA, and so forth. And of course, the PIP and the certificate. But there is one protocol, which is MD5. And uh, MD5 actually does not really require a certificate or whatsoever. So uh, yeah, in case you want this to be shown on your computer again, in case, for example, you are using a Redis server for the dot one X, which doesn't have the uh, advanced authentications like those protocols, then you want to use MD5 challenge, then Microsoft still have MD5 challenge on their computer. Uh, on their Windows, but it's not used. So what you can do, we have to go to the registry of the Windows and we have to make it active. So let me show you how we can do that. If we go from here to reg edit, so I just write reg edit or registry, then you have the registry editor. Then once you have registry editor, you should go from here to the HK local machine. I'm gonna leave everything for you on the, this uh, video to, so you can follow the steps. So HK local machine, then you have to go to system. Then you go to current control slot. Then you go to services. Then you have to go down and here you have to go to the R. So you can see this one, Rasman. So on the Rasman, you see what protocols are enabled on your Windows. So you can see you have uh, IKE version 2, which is IPsec, and you have PPP. And here they put for you the EAP. So those what we have seen actually over here, if we go back. So what we have seen here, let's go to that one. So what you have seen over here on the authentication, those ones, they are really inside the registry of the Microsoft Windows. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add the MD5 challenge over here. So let me tell, show you how you can add it. So you are on EAP here. Now what you need to do is you have to create a new key and just give it a value of four. Then you can see this file over here, you, get, you go inside of it and give here the value data to be Microsoft. Now, you need to add different ones. So I have them over here. So they are written over here. So uh, let's do them one by one. So first we have to create, you see the value type is reg D word. So you just make new and then you see here D word. So we have to copy that uh, value name and uh, we rename it that one. And then we go to the value data, and it is in hexadecimal, and I will add it over here, value data. So this is the first file. Now, we have to create this second value, which is friendly name, which is the name that it has to be shown on the network interface card. So it is here, we have to go to string value, 
and the name is friendly name and we give it md5 challenge as the name to be shown on my network card so that is done here we go here and we say md5 challenge the second one is the path and this path this is the file which is making the md5 challenge working the rust chap all right so now we have to say the path so we have to create here and this is going to be expandable string value we name it path and uh, let's copy this value data and we paste it over here still two to do now we have to make for the username and for the password and this is going to be the word you see it's showing up over here the word so first the name invoke username dialog so that's when you try to connect to the network then the uh, you would get a, a prompt uh, to put the username and password so this is for the username and here this is gonna be value of one and the last one is also d word and we give it this name and the value data is gonna be one so by doing that believe it or not that your dot one x now on your computer should receive the uh, md5 challenge so let's go there again and now we go to Ethernet 2 which is the my network interface card and then over here if I make enable dot one X here we go you can see Microsoft MD5 challenge has shown up and now in case your radius is using MD5 challenge as well then in this case you can get authenticated with those steps it's just very easy to be able to add the MD5 challenge of course, you may be asking now, what is dot one X and uh, all of these questions. So actually, if you want to know what is the dot one X, I highly advise you to go to uh, my course, which is speaking of dot one X on Microtik. And if you go to my website, mynetworktraining.com. So this course has been now added to my platform. And uh, if we search for it, so let's search for dot one X. So here we go. This is the dot one X on Microtik. So I show you everything about dot one X. You can here uh, see what the, uh, the uh, definition of dot one X, how it works. Then we are going to do labs to show you how the dot one X here works with the MAC address authentication and with the user account and also with VLAN assignment. So just think of dot one X as a way where in case you connect your computer to the network, then your computer will not communicate to the network unless it is authenticated. And this needs to be authenticated by a radio server. Some radio servers, they don't support what Microsoft they have over here that we have seen, those protocols, but they support uh, the uh, old uh, protocol, which is MD5 challenge. So that's why I have decided to show you how you can add this MD5 challenge on your computer then in case your ready server does not support those other protocols then you can use the md5 challenge to get uh, authenticated so this is all what i wanted to show you in this uh, video i hope that uh, it was informative for you and i will see you in some other videos